Okay, in this lesson, we're going to look at how to solve advanced literal equations. We're going to first introduce literal equations, just a reminder. And uh, we're going to outline the steps that we typically follow. This is pretty simple. Uh, the steps we follow to solve advanced literal equations, and then we're going to solve a few together. So literal equations are equations that have at least two variables. So something like this will be a literal equation. A plus B equal to C. That's a literal equation. You could also have something like X plus Y equal to 3. That's a literal equation. And then we're going to, to solve literal equations. We're looking at solving for one of the variables. So we're going to solve try to get the value of one of the variables with respect to the other uh, variables or terms in the equation. So to solve literal equations, we're just looking at the method we follow to isolate uh, a variable that is indicated. So let's look at some examples together. Solve for h in the equation. So I'm always, I always have a habit of writing the equation again. So this is v is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h and we're trying to isolate for h so that means when we say isolate we means that we want to ensure that that variable stands alone on one side of the equation so the first thing we're going to do is to subtract 2 pi r squared from both sides of the equation 2 pi r squared so now we have v minus minus 2 pi r squared equal to 2 pi r h now we can see here that the 2 pi r is the coefficient of h so we're going to sub divide both sides by 2 pi r and now we have v minus 2 pi r squared over 2 pi r equal to h so that's the solution for that equation the second one here we have solve for x in the equation 2 distributing to x minus y is equal to i distributing to x plus h so now what we're going to do first is distribute pemdas always is the is PEMDAS is golden as they say so we will say 2x minus 2y equal to ix plus ih so the first thing we're going to do is look at what do we need to do to isolate so because i have 2x on on the left hand side i'm just going to try to bring ix to that same side so to do that, I'm going to add 2y to both sides of the equation here. So I have 2x equal to ix plus ih plus 2y. Then now I can subtract ix from both sides of the equation. So I have 2x minus ix equal to ih plus 2y. And now I can distribute out x in this on the left hand side. So I have x, you distribute that you have 2 minus i. So actually not distribute out x, we factor out x. So when we factor out x from this side, we have 2 minus i. This is going to give us ih plus 2y. So now we divide both sides by the coefficient of x which is 2 minus i so we divide both sides by 2 minus i divided by 2 minus i so therefore x is going to be equal to i h plus 2 y divided by 2 minus i next example solve for a in the equation b is equal to 2a plus c over 5 so the first thing we're going to do is to multiply both sides by 5 so i multiply both sides by 5 so that would cross out the denominator on the right hand side 
So we now have 5B equal to 2A plus C. Now we need to find the value of A, so we're isolating for A. So we subtract C from both sides. So we now have 5B minus C equal to 2A. Now the coefficient of A is 2. So we divide both sides by 2. So A is equal to 5B minus C over 2. And our final example, solve for F in the equation S equal to 4 F plus H over F minus H. So now the first thing we're going to do is to multiply both sides by the denominator. So we have F minus H here, and then let's put a parenthesis around it. And then we have F minus H. We can put a parenthesis around them. And so you can see that S, F minus H is equal to 4 F plus H. And the reason why we can do that is because this will cancel out. The denominator, when you multiply a fraction by the denominator, you actually just eliminate the denominator. So now let's distribute. We have SF minus SH equal to 4F plus H. So now I'm going to add SH, sorry, 4F plus 4H. Now I'm going to add SH to both sides. And now we have SF is equal to 4F plus 4H plus SH. Now we're going to, because we need to isolate F, so I'm going to isolate 4F now. I'm going to move 4F from the left hand side to the, from the right hand side to the left hand side. So we have SF minus 4F is equal to 4H plus SH. Now we can factor out F. We factor out F. We have S minus 4 is equal to 4H plus SH. Now we divide both sides by S minus 4 so that we can isolate F. So therefore, F is equal to 4H plus SH over S minus 4.